Um, alrighty, back to the jam. Let's have a look at Haiku Shane's game. Let me just chuck a stream marker up. Haiku Shane. Kapow! I remember Haiku talking about how many bugs he was trying to fix right before the end. So, uh, yeah, hopefully he felt happy with it by the end. So it's a game called Tributes Path. Let's uh, flag all of these so we know that we played it. We'll jump to the game page, like so. Uh, so much uh, I sleep now. <laughs> Did I not give people a chance to answer this question? Aren't you awesome for creating a game? Nobody answered it. Come on. <laughs> Why does nobody want to pat themselves on their beautiful backs? Uh, was it a checkbox? Oh. <laughs> Does it, does it show that you ticked it then? I don't know. <laughs> Am I in dark mode? I don't know. If you am. <laughs> okay, sorry, I just saw Brainoid's salty, nasty comment trying to break my spirit. You'll never bring me down. Still, I wanted, I wanted to force people to say yes, and I wanted to say yes there. That's fine. As long as you had to tick a bit of a box, that is fine. So you had to call yourself awesome. <laughs> okay. Let's get uh, into this then. So, okay. This was mostly done in a day. I'm super excited about it. You could definitely just call this a prototype for an idea. There's tons of features missing. I'm not sure it's even an actual game yet. Feel free to just mash attack and see what happens. <laughs> I mean, that's more tempting than anything, right? More info. No, no, I thought there'd be more. Um, more story. That sounded exciting. Let's open Edge because the browser games tend to work a little bit better. Made more for charity than most indie devs make on their games. <laughs> This is true, but also, I mean, I, I had to get rid of my beautiful top knot, huh? That everybody loved. I still love the black nails. I had to do push-ups. We sung a lot. So you got maybe you should include that in your game, dev. Silly indie devs. Do you ever think about that? Huh? Anyway, I'm kidding. Let's get started. Uh-oh. Okay. So, can I zoom in? Uh-oh. Hold on. Okay, I can't zoom in. I can zoom in. Hold on. Oh, I've messed up the UI now, haven't I? Okay, here we go. Let's let's try and read this. It's a little bit small. So I got strength, dexterity, constitution, intelligence, wisdom, and charisma. They are all D20 die. I have 25 health. I have a long sword. D8. Uh, rest now. It may be your last chance for a while. Once you do, cast your sights ahead to the future. Slot your dice into the skills you feel may be needed soon. You'll be able to add your slotted dice to your normal D20 dice uh, when you attack. So use them when you feel like you need to be sure you can hit. Okay. So I have a dice of bags. Uh, a dice bag of the faith. So I have four D6s that I can use. I got one D10 I can add and one D20. Interesting concept. Okay. Um, so I could add in those if I want. For now, I'm quite happy with keeping them. I got one D20. That's totally fine. Rumors and stories from uh, ahead. An axe, my, an axe beak, a black bear, and a crocodile. Let's embark. A fearsome axe beak. Is this a combat you've foreseen? Or is it a mystery to you? Your slotted dice are single use. Use them wisely. Okay, so I have 25 health. I need to defeat this from the darkness. Look, I missed that. So we can attack it with 20 strength. But I don't know how much it needs to take it to kill it. Oh, press tab to see some dev notes. Oh, Hey, Shane here. There's no point in putting dice into anything but strength. <laughs> strength is used for basic attacks. Later on, the others will be used for special attacks from, mon from monsters. But right now, they're useless. 
Oh, I didn't forget the theme, I just haven't added a start screen. You play a tribute, a person with magic abilities to see the future, sent to ver uh, venture into the long lost God's temple. Okay, along with the dice's loot, you should also have weapons and armor over here, eventually. Once you're in combat, your only choice is to fight. Later, I hope to make it so you can do more. Maybe use your dex to flee, a tricky fight, or use your charisma to win over a flustered enemy. You've started with an unbalanced number of dice I picked at random. Later on, you'll get dice at loot, giving you more power as you slay more mobs. These dev nodes get noisier, got noisier than I, I expected. Right now, the monster... I think this is great. This is great. Right now, the monster list is fixed, but there'll be a random in the future. Uh, there should also be lots of them. You get to know their strengths and weaknesses and where to, sl uh, and where to slot your dice over time. Okay. So the more you go against them, you'd kind of learn what, what they do and what you kind of need to roll to beat them and things like that. I appreciate the wall of thoughts as well. You're just on a rotating list of the most recent games. Refresh a few times in Kattenberg. Oh, that's nice to know, partly. Thank you. Thank you for your F5. You give that finger a rest now. You've been popping F5 like there's no tomorrow, good sir. Give it a rest. Tap yourself on the back. Sit back. You've done good today. Take the rest of the day off, partly. <laughs> all right i i like the dev notes though so we're gonna roll our dice you tried to hit the beast but it was too quick we rolled a two crikey is it gonna attack us you hit for six it looks like it has seven health left you tried to hit the beast but it was too quick we oh no that was the last one okay good we've hit it you apps you got absolutely smashed for two there we go my health has gone down you tried to hit the oh that was my last thing oh hold on hold on Or did I roll another two? Okay, here we go. You got absolutely smashed for four. So we got smashed again. But then, oof, you got knocked. Uh, sorry, you knocked it right out. But look, something else comes. Oh, great. What? Hang on. Maybe it wasn't. It wasn't still. De it wasn't. De oh, no, we're on to the black bear now. A fearsome black bear has come. So shall we add on our dice? Oh, I can't add dice on. I could only do that at the start. Blast. Okay. Uh, we got smashed for five. We've only got 14 health left. We hit it for two. It has 11. The black bear is a fearsome bear. You got absolutely smashed for five. It'd be nice to see which are, like, from the same round of combat. Because it says I hit for two, I hit for two. Was, was one last round? Or were they both this round? I think one was last round. You tried to hit the beast, but it was too quick. We rolled a three, but it didn't hit me this time. That's the one bit I'm not 100% on. So the D8 is the damage, right? So we're rolling whether or not we hit it, and then we roll the damage afterwards. You tried to hit the beast, but it was too quick. Okay, so what does it, what's, uh, you got absolutely smashed for one. Okay, we got smashed, but okay, we hit for five. It has seven left. Okay, that's not a bad one. So, if we roll a 7. Okay, you knocked it right out. Can I add more to my dice? I can't. That's a shame. Now we have a fearsome crocodile. Are we going to survive? It was too quick. We rolled a 10. So, the crocodile needs more than, uh, more than 10 in order to hit it. Too quick again. Too quick again. We got hit for 4. I got a feeling that we need... We're going to need our... You hit for 1. It looks like it has 5 left. Did we kill it? <gasps> There's more enemies. Look at this. We got three health left. Crikey. We've got to slot a, an extra D20 to our attack so we can smash things, right? I don't think that we're going to do much to the... We can't really do much more than that. Ah, oh, but they're consumable, aren't they? Okay, so the giant hyena should be fine. We're saving this for the big croc, right? Oh, gosh. We got hit for one. We've only got two health left. Got, uh, it has 15 health left. Mm. Could I add one to my weapon, I wonder? Okay, let's try and use it and just to make sure we hit it. You hit for 5 hours, 10, so it's used, but it's gone now, yeah. We might die. Oh, gosh, you actually died. I don't know how to make a restart button, so I guess you'll just have to quit by hitting escape. 
I'm also not sure if I've set up quitting properly. Good luck. <laughs> because the game isn't balanced at all, you might not actually be able to get to the end screen. Don't worry though, it looks like very similar to this. Hopefully the idea of the game makes sense though. See you soon. Oh, and thank you, Honest Dan. It's been a fun project. And the furthest I've actually stuck with the game idea. That's really nice to hear. Uh, let's go, let's give this another playthrough. And this time, we're going to use all of our thonkers. Ah, uh, it, it'd be nice if we could add a, a dice to our sword as well, I think. Because we're rolling a dice for it, right? So I guess the... We have some d6s, d10s, and we might as well just use our d, d6s. I don't think we're going to get that far, though. You can only add one, right? Or can you add a few? <gasps> you can add them all. All right. That sounds good to me. Let's add all our d6s, and then we'll save the big boys for the next ones. Okay, so we've we got a... Uh... Oh, nice. We hit it for four. Oh, we got smashed for four. But I've knocked it out. We've got a black bear. I'm going to use my d6. Kapow! Oh, I only hit it for one. We didn't roll a very good longsword there, did we? Okay, we hit for seven. Looks like it has uh, ten left. That's fine. Um... We got hit for four. We're down to 13 health, but we knocked it out. We got the croc. Let's use our big rolls on this. You tried to roll. It was too quick. Now, even with a d6, on top of the d20, we rolled at eight. Let's do it again. Let's save this one because I'm interested to see does this carry over to the next round. Okay, 15 health left. Oh, gosh, we got hit for five. Okay, nine health left. It was too quick. It was too quick. Okay, thankfully it's not hitting us. It hit us for one. Okay, we got it. Okay, you lose your dice if you don't use it. I guess that's a, that's something to be aware of. So let's add our... Oh, we got all of them back again. I guess they're set. It did say in the developer notes, right? So let's get the D10 and the D20 as well. And we're going to embark. We're off. We're going to fight the giant hyena. Attack. Oh, attack again. Okay, it's hit us hard now. We can't even take a chance. we just got to... Try and hit it as hard as we can and hope we don't die. Oh, we died again. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna, we go. This is doable. I think the, the main plan is just F5. It did say just try, feel free to just spam attack and see what happens. So I think that's what we're going to do on our third and final run. Let's open it. Uh, let's take, we might as well take all of our dice. All our dice. Uh, because we are not... Oh, I remember him saying he was doing drop-down lists in Unity and having issues with it. Um, yeah, let's try and do this then. We're going to just keep smashing it as well as we can. We've taken quite a bit of damage. Okay. We've got six health. This is not looking good, is it? It's not looking good. I'm guessing we're not going to get to the ending, although the developer did warn us about that. So, uh, we're probably, our best bet is just to keep hitting. We're still on the giant hyena. We cannot beat the giant hyena. A sad day. A sad day indeed. But um, I really like the concept of the game. I think it'd be interesting if it was fleshed out. If they were, like, you come across something that's not a battle. And then you need to use your dexterity. Or, or it might be, like, a wisdom thing. Like, am I allowed to read this book? Am I allowed to do this? Um, so I think, I think there's different, uh, there's interesting things about that. And hello, Outfrost. Happy birthday, Outfrost. You have been in chat before now. I realized that and I forgot to wish you a happy birthday, good sir. If we say happy birthday to Outfrost. Happy birth of day. Don't know if it's exactly today, but I think it is. Pemploid Happis, Outfrost. Should we sing Pemploid Happis, Spacey? Anyone else? Pen. Bloyth. Apis. That's the, that's the lyrics. You can do it. Pen is like the end and Bloyth is like start of the year. Like Bloythin is a year. So Pen Bloyth is like the end of a year. And that's kind of what we call a birthday, I guess, right? Or it's a point in the year, it could mean, I guess. I've not thought about it before. Is there a cube? 
No, there isn't. Uh, let's write some feedback on the game, though. They're, they're, it was super nice, this. And I think I, I, I can see the potential of it being interesting. Thanks so much uh, for submitting the game. I really like the idea. And think uh, adding the development commentary was a great idea to help people uh, understand your vision understand your vision for the game um, I think it could indeed be interesting if the dice you take uh, the dice are earned and that the other stats come into play uh, perhaps there is an attack and defend round where you roll to dodge Reduce damage in the defend round phase. Let's call it phase instead of round. Uh, perhaps uh, not every encounter uh, is a fight, and you could have D and D style uh, inspired events that would benefit from the charisma. Uh, intellect or wisdom, whatever. Um, the foresight ability also um, works well with the game mechanic as it isn't purely random and you. Uh, feel there would be some strategizing strategizing as to which dice to take and when Good job okay cool I like that 